Okay, so I'm doing a video, not really much work, just a replacement of a volume pot. And this is the new um, ICOM F3161DT, um, which is this right here. And this is like a replacement for the Motorola 1250 famous real rugged strong motor roller 1250 anyway this one I didn't get a chance to um, I forgot to do the uh, breakdown I mean a video of taking it down replacing the removing the cover and um, so in the middle of doing that I'm like oh I forgot to do a, um, a breakdown video. So let me um, just show you what I'm doing. Okay, is that better? Yeah. So this is this is a damage volume pot. This is the channel selector. This thing, this is a volume pot, and it's all broken off. So right here, there you go, I'm going to replace it, I'll give you an idea what I did so far. <coughs> I removed this screw and um, kind of put some solder here and remove this jump, this plate, this ground strip, and once you, you put heat here and move it up then this complete board just well you have to pull these screws so you have two screws here one here and one here which there they go one and two this one you have to remove this from the case like this so you have to take this off first and these two screw to remove this piece here. Make sure you don't pull it out sudden because you have a ribbon that's attached to this board. Okay. All right. So let me uh, just go ahead and repair this thing. So this is already pulled up. So, so I already did this. And I'm gonna pop this out. So it's a, you know, it's a male clip, female clip, um, socket, male socket. And I have my one look away of removing solder from this thing. So let's go ahead and heat. I like to heat these things up and press against it. Should be coming off. Oh, sorry. Okay. Put some more heat in there. Put some solder. It's <laughs> even easier. Drop right off. So I just can see the pin, the shaft broke right off. Somebody decided to, you know, be rough with it. So the next thing I do is use my solder wick. Uh, this is a real easy job. I like real toughy circuit board digging. No, no, um, no, uh, RF, no receive, surface mode mount problem, VCO problem, um, crystal, you know, um, oscillator that's falling off sync, like these kind of thing. 
These are just too easy. Yeah, I've been doing other stuff. I like staying busy. Can't stand just sitting around, just not doing anything, you know, new. So, after a while, let's get boring. I'll go to model planes. Okay. On the weekend. Okay, one more. One more, one more. Come on, get out of there. Get out. Stupid thing. Uh, I don't have a solder. My solder vacuum is not working properly. So it's easier for me to fight with it with this thing. There you go. Nice old uh, put a pin in there. I'm just gonna bend one just to keep it in there. Bend this one, kick this one, and then tack it. Tack, 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 tack. Please don't subscribe because I'm not cons consistent with these things. So you don't, you might subscribe to see another radio repair and probably next year before I do something like this again. I mean, I do work, that's my job, but I don't have time to really do much videos, so. I think this was different. So I just decided to do a video just in case someone searching the internet, trying to figure out how to do this safely. Uh, so this is just a simple volume control repair. Okay, so now to reinstall this thing. So I plug back this thing in. Make sure this uh, this thing clipped there. You see, make sure this thing clip clip in. There you go. Snap. And it's good. Now I'm gonna solder this piece down. There you go. Interesting is down. Then I put on back our skirt, our dress cover. Oh, not yet. I need to put this um this uh this thing right here. This um like I don't know what to call this probably a washer. A, a one plate washer. That's a very good name to put it, call it. Put these two um fastening nut. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the video because I don't wanna waste much uh my um any um space on my phone. <laughs> I'm using a phone so so I'm what I'm gonna do is gonna screw these on, tighten them down, and then I'll start back when I put the cape. Ah, let me just do it. Let me just see if I can do it real quick. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. I have a tool that I use to tighten this thing down. But it doesn't it doesn't work good. Sometimes this this stupid thing right here, you know? Look like a lock tool for a car or a remote control car doesn't fit all that well you know they send these tools in but they don't work to me so I use my old 
fashioned way to do this. Okay, and that's tight. Put the strap on. Put this tiny screw back on there to ground. You know, it's ground already, but you know, you have to put back all screw. Okay, what left? So this is this done and done done. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is um, put the ribbon on. Always turn it sideways. And I always look for the to make sure it's even. All the shine piece are even. I mean the the the, 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 the copper looking circuit um, strip. Make sure it's all straight, not not lean. You know, and I clip it down. And that should be it. SQ mean song quality. Just in case somebody trying to Google this. Sound quality. Put these two screws in. And for all the ladies watching, I haven't used any lotion this morning, so my hands are dried. Alright? So black people need more lotion than the average skin. <laughs> Get ashy real.